ladies and gents, on the TV here with some more Lisa. Last episode, we found out that our, I guess, adopted daughter was kidnapped, so we're gonna do some investigating on that. Oh, hello. Ooh, help me. Can I equip that? No. Um. No. Okay, then. And more people are- Oh! You suffered serious damage. Okay, then. Time is a great teacher. Sadly, it kills all its pupils. Is he riding a deer? Okay then. Okay then. Rude language there, my fella. Our paths have crossed yet again. Do you remember our time spent as we- Oh, were you one of the people that was beating me up? I do fondly. My heart just tumbles with joy thinking about it. Like your head in a dryer. Normally you'd be dead and stripped of your wares by now. But... I like you, Brad. Let's have some fun. I shall give you a choice. Your yellow shirt friend's life, or all of your belongings. Oh. Oh. Mmm. This is... <sighs> oh. Mmm. This is, I mean, having another party member would be helpful, but also having all of our items would be helpful. No, I, I can't, I can't give up someone's life. How boring. All right, boys, strip him quickly. I hear tale that a female is on the loose. My, my loins ache for some excitement. Oh, that's not creepy. All of your stuff has been taken. Okay. Um, we were just robbed. We got hit by a truck. Some old friends. Everything's okay now. Some friends they are. First my hamstring, now this. You're a bad omen. Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's all good, man. I don't mind. I like hanging out with you. Terry Hits joined you. Again? Okay, so... We at least have our equipment. But I don't know if we're gonna be lose. Okay then, I don't know if we're gonna be losing anything. Oh, okay then. That was lovely, having someone's innards drop in on us like that. Um, you, do you have anything for me? Seems like a storm is brewing around here, is it? I get it, because you're brewing something. If you have an empty doll, you can have... Um... Let's rest, I guess. What's the worst that can happen if we rest? Oh! Okay. <laughs> Lovely! <laughs> let's, let's... Is he dead? He's knocked out cold. Of course he is. Um... I'm gonna explore up here, cause there might be some stuff. Yeah, like, there's that cave up there. Um... That didn't work. Did I take any damage from that, though? No, it doesn't look like it. How... Guess I can't go there just yet. Okay, then. Let's just move on up. 
or le right, I know my directions. Whoa, did I get an achievement? Is that what the thing popped up? Holy heck. Okay, the world can be saved. Find her. Status effects. Oh, that's a lot. Cool pick, huh? Artistic. <laughs> like artistic? Wary, there's scared, wary, weird, stunned, cry, rage, pissed, drunk, hangover. Of course. Stink, cool, depression, makes life suck. <laughs> yes, it does. Oiled up, makes you flammable. Withdrawn, joy, it makes it all better. Okay then. There's a guy creeping up there. Might as well save while I'm here. He's full of hole. Oh. Uh. Okay, I can't dig in garbage cans like Earthbound. Leave. Take your pervert war elsewhere. I want no part in this. Hey, <laughs> your head shaped like a chicken's little. Is it a crest? Is that what it's called? I don't know. I'm not a chicken dude. Well, let's take the damage. He's dead. Huh. <laughs> Should, probably shouldn't be taking that. See the red skulls? It means Rando's army has taken over. Which sucks. Because the only gasoline within miles is in there. Okay, there and there's a gang inside there. Walk two steps to the left, please. I don't know what I was expecting. Okay, so is it... Yep, I still remember the Buster Punch. Oh, you... Ugh. Skill... Oh. Yeah, make that guy cry with your words. Oh! Ah, oh, that's music, though. It worked, except it made him angry. I wanted him to cry. Oh, my intestines are in dis- Ooh, it <laughs> he just explodes. Okay, then. The Hintzer's moving on up. Ooh, got him form. Wait, did Brad get any skills there? I don't, I don't know. Uh, don't know if I want to go in there just yet. Oh, is this guy dead? Yes, he's dead. There's a bottle there, but I don't know if it's worth grabbing. Uh, sure, why not? Let's go grab it. You never know. Okay, I'm going to be taking probably like 20 damage here. No, 10. Okay, not that bad. And since I'm in the area, I guess I could fill up on soup something. There was a red flash there. Don't know what it was. Okay, let's grab some soup. What does soup do? 500 HP. Okay, then I guess that's not that bad. And just because I'm paranoid, I'm gonna save again. Um. Ha! Got a secret stash, 10 magazines. What? Okay then. I got 10 magazines, I don't know if that actually like means anything or not, but whatever. Oh. Where am I? Jeez. Are you alive? Smooth. Okay then. Wait, is his head like chopped off? No, no, never mind. he's just slumped over. Uh, 
Seriously though, where the piss am I? Okay then. You're looking out into the sky over there. Oh, hello there. My name is Nern. I'm considered the greatest historian of our time. I've got the wealth of knowledge about Olaf and what happened. Many t okay, let's, um, exposition time. Wish you were more enthusiastic. Okay, let's see. I'll start with what I like to call the flash. I was sitting with my wife, God rest her soul, sipping on sweet lemon tea. I believe it was homemade by my sweet wife, God rest her soul. Or wait, maybe she sh maybe she bought it from a store in a bottle. You know, like a plastic bottle? Well, hold on now, that would be ridiculous to buy a bottle of sweet lemon tea and transfer the contents into a glass. Why not just drink it from the bottle, I guess? <laughs> maybe so she could put ice in the glass? But then again, making tea homemade would be just as time consuming, if not more. That sneaky bitch. Anyway, I'll save that story for later. So I'm sitting on my porch drinking sweet lemon tea. From a glass, of course, ho ho. And suddenly, a great strangeness fills my body. Something was wrong. I was... I've lived many years and I've never felt something like this before. Do you know what it was? Yep! It was my rocking chair. That wooden son of a gun stopped rocking. This dialogue. Can you please get to the point? What a day. I said it was time for bed. I had a little bit too much excitement for one day. Ho ho. I sent to my jammies. Brush my... Please, I don't care. I appeared across the hall, my body swelled up with emotion. Why can't I be married to an attractive- Oh, that's not nice. Is it me? My bank account? I'm a tall guy, I work 40 minutes a week. <laughs> or work out 40 minutes a week. God, if he worked 40 minutes a week, he'd not- He wouldn't be making anything. Is that not enough? How my neighbor at the time, Tom Forknight, was very short. His not- His wife, Karen Forknight Plateburger. <laughs> Really? One of those women. Well, she was more attractive than my wife. I'd say she was a soft six, or, uh, whereas my wife was a hard four. It's a deal I thought women liked tall men. Why was Karen with him? Please, am I horse of a wife? Please get to the point. To leave him to uh, leave the bedside light so she could read her books, one of her romance novels. Give me a break. So I don't already feel inadequate enough. Not only do I have to compete with Tom, I have to deal with three fiction- or these fictional hunks. At this point, I already suppressed the urges of intimacy. I rolled over and tried to sleep. I was able to drift off. Then I woke up to a big flash of light. That's about it. Really? That was it? I can tell by- oh, No, I want to leave. I really want to hear another story. Oh my god, no. Please, you get, leave me alone. Oh no, get away from me. Eggs is... Okay then, just leave me. Connie Spooner. Okay, I get it. Last names are based off kitchen utensils and food. Just leave me alone I don't care um, something about whipped cream oh, this, this game oh I took damage and then I took some more damage oh my god no <laughs> leave me alone I'm not even, like, paying attention. Just... Uh... Please. Just... <laughs> Angelo! You're the worst. Oh, wait, what? Big ol' melons. Okay, then. I'm try this. Child. <sighs> Angelo. Angelo, why? 
No, why'd you join the party? I guess his skill is going to be boring people to death. Uh... At least I get some bottles out of this. I, I don't even like want to like see what that guy said in editing. I'm sorry. Um. Oh, I can. Cool. Oh, I can swap. Oh, how many party members are in here? Okay, then. Um. I don't have that many mags. Okay, then. Okay. Let me just find the save point so I can end it off. Oh, back to the... The end slate music. Um. Nope. Oh, hello. You deal with it. Is this a flashback? I guess it is. Dang. I, I do like how, like, the lighting, or the shadow, like, moves like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, save point, please. Oh. oh. Hello. A leather poncho. Let's equip that onto myself. Much better than the itchy poncho. Okay then. Oh, no, that's... Let me get to a point where I can save because dang do I need it. Because we got a new party member, we got some new equipment. Um... It looks like we're in, like, in a town of sorts. Which is all fine and dandy, but... I, I would kind of want to explore this later. I just want to find a crow. Nope. I'm taking a lot of damage here, too. Probably should it. Oh, thank you. There's a crow here. So, you know what? I'm just gonna save this. And I'm gonna end it off here. So, see you guys next time for some more Lisa. Later!